In this Autodesk Maya tutorial, I'm going to show you the difference between extruding thickness and extruding local translate Z. They can be very different. So for example, in Maya, if I go to the poly modeling shelf and I get a cube, then I zoom in and I right click and I go to face mode, I can select this face, press control or command E, and I can locally translate it out Z. This works fine on a simple face, and if I undo that, and then I also click on the thickness, it appears to be very similar. Now I'm going to undo that. Now if I hold shift and select two faces of my cube, and then I press control or command E, and I'm extruding now, if I locally translate Z, notice that the lengths of the edges are different. That's because when you locally translate Z, it takes an average of the edges in the normal directions and those vectors, and then Maya combines them for the extrude. Now watch what happens if I turn off keep faces together. If I turn off keep faces together, then each of these are locally translating Z and the average of the edges stays the same. But if I keep faces on, now it's averaged in the middle because it's this vector and this vector, and then it only goes halfway. So let's undo that and look at the difference between changing local translate Z and thickness. If I change thickness when I'm extruding two edges, it is actually determining the distance between these two edges and it makes them the same. If you now look, this is actually longer than this edge. So depending on the result that you want, you can either use thickness to get the faces to come all the way out parallel to where you're going, or if you want to use local translate Z, just be aware that it depends whether or not you are having multiple faces together or if you keep faces together on or off. So hopefully this shows you the difference between local translate Z and thickness when you are extruding in Autodesk Maya. Happy 3D modeling.